Okay? Okay, everyone look at this. That's the first part. I think every other thing you guys are doing well with. <coughs> so, activity four worksheets. Question four. So it says the proportion of the moon which illuminates each night is given by the function mt which equals half cos pi over 15t plus half where t is the number of days, number of time in days. So t is days basically. After January 1st. So January 1st is the index, that's zero. January 2nd is 1, January 3rd is 2, and so on and so forth. So the first question is to sketch the graph of M against T. Now, if you look at what I've given you, I intentionally put the screenshot. You see, any graph picture that I insert, I must have checked if it could work on it. Then I'll remove the curve on it, and I just put the black one. Okay, so what I expect you to use is this is 0, this is day 15, <coughs> day 30, 45, 60. Also, if you look at the function, look at this. I intentionally picked those dates also so we could see what happens when they are multiple. It's uh, been divided here. Okay, then, of course, I don't know what this will be. Maybe I'm still going to come down here because it's a cosine function, right? So let's pretend we don't know. But I can assure you it doesn't come down. Now, <clears throat> at maximum, this is 1, right? Which means we get half plus half, which is 1. So the maximum is still 1. Because normally, this half means it's... Uh, Compressed, right? But then there's something that pushes up again back to one. At minimum, this is negative one. So negative half plus half is what? What? The zero. Zero, which means it doesn't go beyond this line. Okay? So the maximum doesn't go beyond one, it doesn't go beyond zero. So if this is one, I gave you two lines. If you pick the first one as one, your curve is in between the, this. Now, how many is what you need to know, okay? Now, we already saw this, right? What is the period? The period is 2 pi over b. What is b? Say that again. 2 pi over b is the period, which is uh, 2 pi over what? Pi over... 15, because remember it should be bx, so this time around bt, okay? And that is 2 pi divided by pi times 15, so period is 30. It means you're going to have from here, then you get another function, right? Okay, but that's not, um, so let's do random substitution. When this is 0, cos 0 is 1. Right? And so everything is half 1. Let's check. For 15, just put your calculator or something. Okay? For 15, you get cos, um, cos pi. What is cos pi? Zero. Cos pi is 0? No, that should be negative. Pi is 180. Cos pi? Yeah. Negative, negative one. 1. So that's where we have the minimum. Yes? Cos 30. That's cos 2 pi. What is that? Positive 1, I guess. Yes. Okay? Okay? I will expect the next one to be here and the last one to be here. Okay? Such that such that you have something like that. Do you know how to use a calculator to sketch? Yes. Can you put this function and see if we have that? But I want you to always do this first before you put in the calculator. Because what if you are dealing with paper one? You need to understand the behavior of this stuff. 
Check that quickly. Do we get that? Yes? So I just picked the maximum point, the minimum point, the maximum point, the minimum point, and we know it's continuous. No? Yeah. Is it? You got the same? Talk to me, please. Okay. okay. So that's that. Can I ask you one question? Please listen. Uh, we're not going to work on it because we only have two minutes to the end. Find the proportion of the moon which eliminates on the night of January 6. How do you do that? January 6. You plot T. So you don't plot. You substitute. You substitute T. Uh -huh. T equals what? 6. No. Wait. Sorry. No. Five. 5. Because T January is actually after January 1st. Okay? So January 6 is 5. What about 27? January 27. That's 26. 26. So that might be an approximation because it's not a whole number, right? What about February 19? 30, 30 plus 19. Where do you get 30 from? January 1. January, okay, January, there will be 30 in no, January. No, there, no, there will be 31. So there will be 30 31. because you don't count the 1. Good, then plus 19. So that's what? 49. 49. February 19 is my birthday, by the way. Oh, okay. So which means on your birthday. All right. So, C question, how often does the full moon occur? Every, Talk to me. Every 30 days. Every 30 days. How do you get that? Period. The period. So you can see how the idea of period is asked. Full moon is like the peak, isn't it? Look, everyone. This is your full moon. This is another full moon. It's another full moon. You can see that. Okay? Wait a minute. Our period is when what happens? Yeah, it is the... It's 30. It's 30, yeah. Full moon after every 30. Okay, anyway, quickly. Um, then on what day, on what day's dates during January and February is the moon not illuminated at all. What does that mean? That means when it's equals to zero. When it equals to zero at this point. So what day is that? Plus one equals 16. Uh, January 16 and? February. February what? 16, 16, 15, 15. 15. Agree? February 15. So all that can be extracted from your table. Okay. So anyways, uh, I want you to go practice. The idea of full moon and everything, the period thing can also be found in question 7, uh, especially uh, 7a, so please. Um, so, okay, this is the last thing I want to say. Two minutes, and I'll let you go. So as I said, my colleagues have discussed the idea of IA with their students, and when I had a meeting with uh, Mr. Long a couple of weeks ago, I asked him when can we actually discuss with you guys uh, the idea of uh, internal assessment? And one of the things that he mentioned is that we should wait until form six. Uh, in the sense that, um, that you are still doing uh, IA on some other subjects, which I actually uh, am aware of because uh, I was able to talk to some of you on your biology and things like that. So he was considering Introducing maths and maybe some other stuff might you guys might be it might be too much because you, are, you have your EE deadline then you have to do your comprehensive draft and all that. So you mentioned that. And one of the things we agreed on is maybe we can, if possible, during the holiday talk to you about it. Then later we thought, ah, let them just have their summer. Then at some point we thought, okay, maybe we give them something to think about during summer and the main work can begin in September. But by and large, we agreed September. So I was discussing with my colleagues this morning about some random, just random talk. And I had, oh, I discussed with them this morning. I'm like, huh? 
So I don't I feel bad but at the same time not bad that come on. So if I do not mention this and you guys just go it's like oh the other class I've told them about something, you guys have not heard anything from me. So I thought okay, I'll discuss that with you. Uh, my plan to introduce with Mr. Long's suggestion is not just to throw the old maths, mathematical space to you guys. Okay? So he, he mentioned something which I, I really, really considered. Of course, it's just a suggestion from him based on his experience as an IB math teacher. At least he was an IB math teacher even before I got here. He only stopped teaching IB when you guys came in, I think, and decided to go into full administration because, trust me, it's not easy to import. So, uh, one of the things suggested is I pick some areas such that even when you guys come for assistance, I can you know, authoritatively comment on it easily. So I pick some areas, okay, these areas, maybe like 10 or whatever, you can explore any, any, any parts you want. Your exploration will be different from someone in AI, uh, AI a little bit, because they are more of, uh, according to Mr. Yap, he's talking to them in hypothesis, they do some stuff, but I will give you some other areas you can look into, in the sense that maybe you want to go into number theory, you want to investigate something on cryptography, you want to investigate something on maybe recommender systems. So these are not, so in those cases, there is nothing like, oh, you're going to do hypothesis testing, correlation and regression, you don't have to do all that, okay? So what I plan to do, which is what I've been planning on, but I don't want to introduce it now because this just came as a shock. And I'm not going to, I don't want the likes of Nakita, uh, Karen, uh, Kalista, then not to just watch the shocking announcement on video, okay? So we're going to fix a day. I'm sure they'll be surprised. Oh, what's going on? So we're not announcing yet. So we're going to fix a day. Uh, I'm proposing either July 31st or August 1st. August 1st happens to be a Saturday. July 31st happens to be a Friday next week. So let's pick one. We meet on Zoom, I introduce, I will have prepared a slide, and I will have made uh, a folder online and put some maybe previous stuff and things. Now, the only thing I will expect you to submit to me at first is like a proposal of what you want to explore in form of an introduction. Okay? But that will be after that. Then I will give you a timeline. Okay? By two weeks or whatever, email this to me. Maybe when we come back, let's fine tune this one. Then we have a timeline to do everything. So, July, uh, July 31st, August 1st, which one do you guys think would be better? All the time with no school birthdays no, no no anyway. It could be a Friday afternoon, it could be a Saturday, midday. We just meet on Zoom one hour, discuss this. So, how about we I put that into the group and we think about it. We look at our, our doctor appointment and things like that because I need everyone to be there online that day. Okay, uh, then we can decide what. Okay, uh, it's been nice for weeks with you guys. Hey, don't run away without my picture. Well, the last class, every class I have last class picture.